Hello, this is Wes from vidlivery.com and this little short video is for those who do not like to read. Um, one of the more popular tutorials on the site is how to set up the, uh, fl the JW Flash Player using the wizard. And For those of you who don't um, want to read through all this or would benefit greatly from a video, I just want to go through this tutorial real, real fast as a video. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to the JW website and click on this link it just brings us to um, actually it's the long tail video longtailvideo.com website and this is the wizard page right now but um, first thing you're going to need to do is go download the player um, click I agree download the player and what you'll end up doing is uploading the swift file and in the file that you downloaded to your website. And so remember where you put this file on your website because this is the, the Swift file is the video player itself which we'll be using to call the video um, the flash videos that you upload to your site. So upload this Swift file to your website. Go back to the wizard page. Embed parameters. Click there. Um, we're going to do a FLV player with a single video. Um, these are just kind of like little example setups or previews of what you could do filling in some things with example videos but for our purposes the default is going to be good the source is going to be to our um, video player that we just downloaded not the video that you want to play itself um, our video is going to be 270 by 480 this is a 16 by 9 ratio of pixels and file properties under file, we're going to link our video file. So this is the path to our video file. And if you ever want to check these to see if your files are right or your paths are right, you can always copy them and go in your web browser and click enter. And so our Swift actually brings us to the Swift, what it would look like. Um, so we can say, yes, this link is working. And then the image. This is going to be a little thumbnail preview of the image or the video before it's played, kind of like YouTube or Vimeo. It's always good to have a poster image or a thumbnail preview image. This image is also downsized to 40 by 270, so it should fit nicely, I think. And what else? Um, I'd say the best thing after you get these filled out is to update and preview your code and this will give us a little preview to see if the links are working correctly so our image is working correctly if we click play Over Marine is our video is working correctly also so if you have anything wrong in here say we changed our video added too many zeros for the path could preview play it wouldn't work because it says a video is not found because we put in the wrong link um, other things you can do is you know you can change the colors of stuff real easily you can always just keep updating and previewing stuff, layout, maybe put the net navigation bar kind of hovering over. Um, we can have a playlist if we want, different things like this, just update preview. And down here is actually the code we're going to use to embed it onto the page. Um, you can use this code, which is use a Swift or the yeah, the Swift object JavaScript embedding, which I find is way too complicated and way too much time wasting because all it does is try to make your videos HTML strict, but really, all you, if you really wanted to do this, you could easily just surround your embed tags with an object tag because this is what it kind of does. But um, it doesn't really matter. We can just click on the embed code, and although this embed tag is not HTML strict by itself, every single web browser handles it just fine, so it's often more useful just to use this and oftentimes the object tag was used just for Internet Explorer 6 I believe and not too many people use Internet Explorer 6 anymore but this works just fine so you can switch between these if we need to I like to copy the embed code when I'm working with the JW player and then just go to your code or your HTML page where you're going to put all this stuff so it's your text editor, Dreamweaver, whatever, WordPress just insert your HTML Preview it. And you can see right here, the video is working. Over. Pretty easy. So this is a quick tutorial on how to 
get this going real, real fast so you don't have to spend a lot of time figuring out the embed code for your players. And what song can we, what's, what's going on here? Diamond Knight Hack. Huh. Sorry about that. Jimmy Buffett? You like pina coladas? Yeah? Don't even know what this one is. But anyways, hope this gives you, I hope you can look at this if you're looking at the giant glob of text and photos here if you just want the quick overview. Um, there's some more detailed stuff in here. Um, the tutorial in here also properly explains how to use the Swift object embed technique. Um, sorry for the late updates, but hopefully there'll be more on the site.